this chapter, we're going to study logic and reasoning. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at validity. Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about validity. So in mathematics, a proof is valid if the reasoning is true in every step of the proof. So some proofs are flawed, no, no surprise there. They may contain an error in reasoning or contain an invalid, uh, invalid assumptions there. And it only takes one improper action to make the proof invalid. So in uh, a homework question from an earlier lesson here, you saw the following argument. And it looked like this. It said, all swans are white. Jane is white. Therefore, Jane is a swan. And like, what does that, how does that work? Well, there's a mistake here in the reasoning. So the conclusion is incorrect. Not all things that are white are swans. Jane and swans have being white in common, but that does not make them identical. Um, we used to use an argument like this. It uh, would say, if the school is red, then it's been painted. And then we affirm that the school has been painted. Well, it's wrong to conclude then that the school is red because it could have been painted a different color. But if it's red, then it has been painted. Okay. So there is a little bit of an, uh, an error there. You can't always take these arguments backwards, these if-then uh, statements backwards there. So if something is white, that does not mean it's a swan. But if it's a swan, it means it's white. So let's take a look at some other, some other examples of that. All right. Consider the following arguments and explain the error in reasoning. All actors are beautiful. Nick Jonas is beautiful. Therefore, Nick Jonas is an actor. Well, this is, this is not, um, again, this, this relationship... This relationship is not two ways, okay? I can't go backwards with this. All uh, actors are beautiful. Uh, that does not mean that all people that are beautiful are actors, okay? That relationship does not go in both directions here. And that's the problem. That's uh, the mistake people make here is assuming that it does. Some people who cough have the flu. Jaden has a cough, therefore Jaden has the flu. Now, on the face of it, that doesn't seem too bad, except for there's a word in here that kind of negates that conclusion. It says some people who cough have the flu. Okay, not all people who cough have the flu, some people who cough have the flu. So you really can't conclude that from those two, even though these two premises might be true. Okay, what's being said here negates the ability to generalize that, okay? This one can't reliably, uh, well, be used, oops, be used for specific examples. Uh, specific, I was gonna write specify for specific examples. It just doesn't work like that. The premise itself kind of keeps it from doing that. Take a look at this one here. All farmers like burgers. Jethro likes chicken wings. Therefore, Jethro is not a farmer. Yeah, that, that's a weird sort of a conclusion here. All farmers like burgers. Jethro likes chicken wings. Well, these two aren't even related, okay? You might say all farmers like burgers. Uh, Jethro likes dogs, you know, therefore Jethro is not a farmer. Um, those aren't related. I can't conclude anything about this. This isn't saying anything uh, related to this particular one. Can't farmers like other things as well? I mean, Jethro might, Jethro might like burgers too. Okay. I, we just don't know. There's the information being given there uh, doesn't work together. Anyway, so you can't conclude that because Jethro might like other things there. Anyway, let's take a look at this, this next statement here. It says, it's worth mentioning that an argument can be valid but not sound. An unsound argument is when the premises of an argument are not actually true, but they lead to a logical conclusion. So this concept is beyond Math 20-2, but... but You'll see it later on if you if you kind of take classes like that. So an example here are all cows are insects. What? All insects are mammals. What? Therefore, all cows are mammals. Well, okay, now that's true. But 
Man, that was a weird way to get there because the, the steps you went through aren't true. Okay, now let's take a look at a, another uh, question here. It says, investigating a fallacious proof. A fallacy is an incorrect argument in a logical and deductive reasoning. Um, in, sorry, in logical and deductive reasoning here. Fallacious proofs are the result of a mathematical error. Uh, for example, dividing by zero, not following order of operations correctly, and so on. And you will see there's all sorts of like riddles that people share. There's lots of famous ones that go around. Uh, and the issue is basically what's identified here, dividing by zero or, or bed mass. So take a quick look at this example here. So here's our, our uh, fallacious proof here. We're going to let A equal B. That's just our setup. This is given. Okay, you might say this is the given part of that. We're going to let A plus B equal A plus B. So we're going to add A to both sides of the expression. We're going to simplify. Okay, we just add the two A's together. And then my next step here, I'm going to subtract 2B from both sides. That's, that's what I did. Um, here, I am going to factor slash simplify. So I took the two out of the both terms on the left-hand side, and then here I, I just simplified. Uh, B minus 2B is going to be negative B. I'm going to divide both sides by a minus b. And then I get this. I, this is basically just by simplifying. Okay, notice that a, over, a minus b over a minus b are going to cancel and become 1. So now we've got proof here that 2 is equal to 1. Well, here our question says write the reasoning and use beside each step, and then where's the error here? I'll just follow along here because this is a really common one. The, the problem here, this is invalid because in step six, the reasoning is not correct. Okay, You can't divide both sides by a minus b because if you go back to the original expression here, if a is equal to b, then what you've just done is divided by zero. Now, if you can sneak that past somebody, you can prove basically anything. Okay, Whatever you want to prove, you can, you can come up with it doing it. Uh, because that's uh, not a valid step there. So that's the problem with this particular proof and why that, that doesn't work. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. All right, so this question says, find and explain the error in the following. So seven equals seven, that's true. Seven is equal to two plus five, that is true. So now I'm gonna multiply both sides by four. Okay, okay, that seems good here. We're gonna subtract 10 from both sides. And then we're going to get 28 minus 10, yeah. Then we're going to get, oh, and then do you see what happened right there? Okay, explain the error. Looking around here, everything seems good here. But notice that what happened here is the 4 did not actually get distributed to the, uh, the 2 and the 5. It only went to the 8 here. Now, this is a, a mistake that a lot of people make. Very, very common mistake to not distribute the 4 to both terms uh, in the parentheses there. So this is incorrect here, right? Uh, the, the four didn't distribute. So now you've got this argument that 18 is equal to three, but it's, it's incorrect or invalid because of uh, a lapse in the, the mathematics there. There you go.